Bill O'Reilly here, Tuesday, October 6, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening across our nation. The president leaves the hospital for the White House. A Washington Post columnist wants to defund the hospital. COVID causes a spike in depression among teenagers. The Senate moves forward on the president's Supreme Court nominee. Murders in New York City already surpass last year. Also ahead, the truth about Hunter Biden and why it matters. But first, President Trump ending his stay at Walter Reed Medical Center after three days of treatment for COVID. President telling Americans, quote, don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. I feel better than I did 20 years ago, unquote. Mr. Trump was hospitalized Friday after experiencing a sudden drop in his blood oxygen level. Washington Post columnist Jennifer Rubin, a Trump hater, is demanding the federal government defund Walter Reed Medical Center for releasing the president. Ms. Rubin calling the doctors there insane. She wants their medical licenses revoked and is demanding Congress eliminate funding for the entire hospital because it's, quote, a public health hazard. New study from the Department of Health and Human Services says there is a spike in clinical depression among America's teenagers, rising from 12% in 2019 to 20% this year. Doctors blaming the contagion, specifically social distancing, isolation, fear for the health of their friends, family, and themselves. Senate Judiciary Committee scheduling formal hearings on the President's Supreme Court nominee. Judge Amy Comey Barrett will appear before lawmakers on October 12th. Congress strictly limiting the number of people allowed in the room to prevent another COVID outbreak in Washington. Homicides in New York City topping last year's total already, and it's just October. The NYPD recorded 51 murders in September, pushing the number killed to 344 people, more than all of 2019. If the current trends hold steady, the death toll in New York will easily pass 400 in 2020, the highest in nearly a decade. In a moment, Hunter Biden, did his father enrich him? Does anyone care? Right back with it. Hey, it's tough out there right now, and a lot of us have been depending on our credit cards to make ends meet. If you have mounting credit card debt, you can save money with a credit card consolidation loan from Lightstream. The average credit card interest rate can run more than 19% APR, but Lightstream's fixed rate credit card consolidation start at 5.95% APR with auto pay and excellent credit. Get a loan tailored to your needs from $5,000 to $100,000 with absolutely no fees. The application is 100% online and you can even get your money as soon as the day you apply. My listeners can save even more with an additional interest rate discount. The only way to get that discount is to go to lightstream.com slash bill, L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash bill. Subject to credit approval, rate includes 0.50 auto pay discount. Lowest rate requires excellent credit. Terms and conditions apply. Offers are subject to change without notice. Please visit lightstream.com slash bill for more information. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Money. Hunter Biden and his father, the former vice president. Is this a real scandal? Robert Hunter Biden was born February 4th, 1970. He's a lawyer, investment advisor, who is the second son of Joe Biden. He is a founding partner of Rosemont Seneca Partners, an investment firm. Mr. Biden served on the board of Burisma Holdings, a major Ukrainian natural gas producer from 2014 to 19. Prior to that, Hunter Biden had no energy experience whatsoever. But his father, the vice president, was the Obama administration's point man in Ukraine. Hunter Biden made 411 trips to 29 countries during his father's time 
in the White House. He also made millions and millions of dollars. Hunter Biden received $3.5 million from the wife of a former mayor of Moscow by wire. No one knows what the money was for. He received at least $700,000 from Burisma and maybe much more. He received $100,000 from the Chinese to go shopping, 100000 k to shop. Hunter Biden accompanied his father on a trip to China in 2013 aboard Air Force Two. He later served on the board of a Chinese private equity fund, allegedly securing a $1.5 billion investment. Said President Trump about this whole thing, quote, when Biden's son walks out of China with $1.5 billion in a fund, and he's there for one quick meeting, and he flies on Air Force Two, I think that's a horrible thing, unquote. Well, during the first debate in Cleveland, Joe Biden said corruption charges against his son had been, quote, discredited. That's not true. The media has largely ignored the situation because they don't want to hurt Joe Biden. Now, recent Senate documents show Hunter Biden, quote, has sent funds to non-resident alien women in the United States who are citizens of Russia and Ukraine, with links to Eastern European prostitution or human trafficking rings, unquote. That is from a Senate report. Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky has submitted Hunter Biden to the Department of Justice for a criminal referral. But so far, nothing has come of all this, and the American people remain confused and or apathetic. Did Vice President Biden use his influence and power to enrich his son? If so, that is corruption. Does anyone care? I don't know. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. Disagree? I want to hear from you. Bill at BillOReilly.com. And please consider my new book, Killing Crazy Horse, big bestseller. I think you'll like it. In a moment, something you might not know. Hey, investors seeking steady cash flow, ready to diversify. Have you considered a proven real estate investment fund? NRIA has grown to be one of the nation's leading specialists and offers 10% annualized monthly payouts with bonuses targeted at 18 to 21%. That's right, you could receive steady 10% return monthly payments with bonuses. As its slogan says, they specialize in realty investing done right. You can even use your 401k or IRA to invest. NRIA's 15-year track record and $1.2 billion in new construction development backs you. Learn how you can invest in this hard asset real estate cash flow fund today and receive 10% annualized monthly payouts with bonuses. This is something savvy investors should research and consider. So please call now, 201-210-2727, 201-210-2727, or visit nria.net. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Last week, actor Rick Moranis of Ghostbuster and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids fame was violently attacked near Central Park in New York's Upper West Side, one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in the city. Surveillance footage shows a man wearing an I Love New York shirt viciously punching the 67-year-old in the head without any motivation to do that. Mr. Moranis was taken to the hospital and later filed a criminal complaint with the police. The attack could have been racially motivated, As tape shows, the perpetrator is African-American. Now, no arrests have been made. Rick Moranis is a good guy. He did not deserve this. Mr. Moranis has lived in New York City for decades and now understands how out of control the city has become. 
I talked to some police officers in the precinct where Mr. Moranis lives, and they say attacks, random attacks like that, are happening daily. Murders in New York City up 40%, shootings up 130%, shooting victims up 100%, burglaries up 200%, carjackings up 100%. You get the feeling that Mayor de Blasio has lost control of the city? Well, he has. And hundreds of thousands of New York residents are fleeing. The locals aren't just complaining about crime. The latest scourge is rats. Apparently, communist mayor de Blasio has little interest in picking up the garbage. Governor Cuomo has even threatened to send in the National Guard to do that. Said the governor, quote, garbage is piling up, creating an odiferous environment because of the garbage piling up. I don't know what's going on in New York City. They can't do it. I've offered to send in the National Guard to pick up the garbage, unquote. Well, Cuomo knows what's going on. It's complete anarchy. The leading factor behind New York's return to the bad old days is leftist leadership that's incompetent, and that includes de Blasio and Cuomo. The real estate market in New York? Collapsing. In the neighborhood where Rick Moranis was assaulted, apartment prices down 32% since January. Vacancies up 20%. So, there's plenty of room for the rats, both the rodents and the politicians. Back after this. Bill O'Reilly here with an important message. If you're a listener to this program, you may know how much I love dogs. Today, let's talk about something I care about very much. There are thousands of abandoned animals in the USA, and these animals need your help. This is why I have partnered up with Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. Delta Animal Sanctuary is a -a one-of-a-kind rescue operation because they care for the animals for life. They're staffed by specially trained attendants who look after the animals, providing them with water, treats, toys, and affection. For more information on Delta's tax-saving estate planning vehicles, please go to the website deltarescue.org slash bill. It lays out all you need to know about growing your estate through tax savings, which can help you build the size of your estate while letting your compassion for animals Live well on into the future. Donate online today at deltarescue.org slash bill. That's deltarescue.org slash bill. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.